What is up, guys? Welcome back to the podcast. I'm your host, Wadislav, and I was just about to sign off for the 4th of July weekend. And um, as I was about to do so, I got an email in my in inbox saying that Christian Everdale, who's one of uh, Gill and Maxwell's lawyers, had written a letter to the court basically asking to dismiss uh, certain charges in the second indictment based on Bill Crosby's ruling. Bill Cosby. Why do I keep calling him Crosby? Uh, Bill Cosby's ruling that came out, and I made a video especially about that. I'll link it up here if you want to go check it out. And uh, what they're claiming is that something similar to Bill Cosby's case is taking place here because there was a verbal non-prosecution agreement. It wasn't an actual non-prosecution agreement, but it was a verbal one where, where uh, the Prosecutor Castor said that he won't prosecute Cosby criminally if he were to participate in a civil litigation with Andrea Constant. And I, I I laid out all the details very clearly in that video. So if you want to know what the Cosby case is all about, go check it out over there. There's a lot of misinformation going on. People talking about how, oh, my God, this is a failure of me, too. No, it's not. It's a legal technicality. He's still guilty. He has not been found innocent. So do not panic about that stuff. Go check that video out and get the real information on that. That. But anyways, in this case, um, without any shame whatsoever, Gillian Maxwell's lawyer here is trying to make the argument that because uh, Cosby was his convictions were overturned, he was not found innocent, but he was his conviction was overturned because of a technicality and a mistake made by the district uh, by the district attorney's office in Montgomery, Pennsylvania, that Gillian Maxwell's uh, charges, charges uh, one, three, five and six from the second indictment should be uh, should be gotten rid of because of the non prosecution agreement from Florida. So we're still on this Florida nonsense. I've made about 10 videos at this point, breaking down exactly why the non-prosecution agreement in Florida does not, does not apply to New York or to the time period of the crimes that Gillian Maxwell has been accused of in these indictments that we have here in the U.S. versus Maxwell case. So I'm going to lay all of this out again. But before that, I want to show you what the stupid crap that, um, that the lawyer here was saying to try to get uh, Gill and Maxwell off on these charges. So this is what he says. We respectfully submit this letter to bring to the court's attention the recent decision by the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania versus William Henry Cosby Jr., uh, in which the court vacated Mr. Cosby's conviction and sentence because the district attorney's office that prosecuted him failed to live up to its express uh, promise not to prosecute Mr. Cosby for the same crimes for which he was later convicted. That's not technically what happened, um, but nevertheless, close enough. Miss Maxwell's case presents a similar situation. No, it doesn't. Uh, as we argued in our supplemental pretrial motions currently pending before the court, the government has failed to abide by its pro uh, promise to not prosecute Miss Maxwell for the offenses for which she was immu immunized by the Epstein non-prosecution agreements. He's talking about Florida. He's talking about Florida here. We submit that this decision provides support for Miss Maxwell supplemental motion to dismiss counts one, three, five, and six of the second indictment for violation of the NPA. Sorry, not buying. So we don't need to get into what exactly one, three, five, and six are. None of this matters. This uh, letter is a joke, and I'm going to explain to you why, okay? So as I as I mentioned, I've made so many videos on this topic already. So here are the reasons why this is not going to work. This letter is a joke. The the judge is going to laugh this off the docket because we've already litigated this. OK, so here are the here are the reasons. Like I said, there's a jurisdictional argument against this, and that is that the non-prosecution agreement that was passed by Acosta only applies to the jurisdictional um, area of Florida. It does not apply to the Southern District of New York. It only applies to the Southern District of Florida. And you, maybe you can argue to the state of Florida. You, maybe you can expand that to there to the other districts in Florida, but it does not expand to New York. OK, jurisdictional the jurisdictional authority is what enti the entirety of American law is based on. OK, the DA's office for one jurisdiction does not have the right to adjudicate cases in a jurisdiction for another DA. And um, and the what happened in Florida in 2007 and 2008 have nothing to do with Audrey Strauss or the Southern District of New York. The bottom line is Audrey Strauss has no legal obligation to follow a, a non-prosecution agreement that was signed by Acosta back in 2007 in a different jurisdiction. OK, that non-prosecution agreement does not apply to New York or any other place. It only it, it only applies to the state of Florida, OK, specifically the Southern District of Florida, where Epstein was prosecuted.
okay so that's number one on that alone this letter is completely useless and the judge is gonna laugh this off but nevertheless let me provide even more ammunition against this so the crimes that Gillian Maxwell is charged with took place most of them the trafficking charges took place in the early 1990s from 1994 to 1997 okay so the the NPA that was signed for Jeffrey Epstein and his co-conspirators that expands from 2001 to 2007 okay so there's different jurisdictions that was the first reason the second reason is a differing temporal location so one case is uh prosecuting crimes that happened back in the 90s that's what this case is about with maxwell the non-prosecution agreement with jeffrey epstein expands from the temporal uh, period of 2001 to 2007 so the temporal periods are different they're different time periods okay and they're different locations so the uh, temporal locations are different and the physical locations are also different jurisdictional authority and temporal differences means that this non-prosecution agreement from Florida from 2001 to 2007 cannot apply to get Ghislaine Maxwell off these charges. Okay? No, Mrs. Andrews, it's the law. No way. And there, it would be a criminal offense if Judge Nathan decides to actually abide by this. It's a nonsensical claim. Oh, and one last thing to add to buttress my uh, my point about jurisdiction is that um, uh, Cosby was prosecuted in Pennsylvania and the original civil suit also happened in Pennsylvania. OK, so both everything happened in the Cosby case in Pennsylvania. When it, in the, on the other hand, when it comes to Jeffrey Epstein, he was prosecuted in Florida. That's why the jurisdictional grounds are different. Now, this case is happening in New York. And as I, as I said, like 20 times already, the jurisdictional authority matters. The U.S. attorney for Florida has no power over the U.S. attorney of New York. And Acosta is gone, by the way, long gone. OK, and uh, nevertheless, his office has no power over what the what Audrey Strauss does. Audrey Strauss is the uh, U.S. attorney for New York. OK, for the Southern District of New York. And she is the one who has the jurisdictional authority to prosecute people as she sees fit. All right. For those reasons, Gillian Maxwell will not be getting any of these charges dismissed. This The judge is going to laugh this off. And I can almost guarantee you that 99.9 percent. .9%, OK, no more questions. All right, that's all I got to say for this video. We can finally now go and have our July 4th weekend. I hope you guys have a good one. Uh, might be putting out a video that day, but we'll see what happens. Um, so with that being said, make sure to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, comment below, do all that good stuff. Help me out with the algorithm. And if you want to support the show, you can do so on Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. There'll also be a link in the end credits. If you want to support me on YouTube, you can do so by joining channel memberships by clicking the blue join button conveniently located down below. That that being said, I'll see you guys all in my next video. As always, peace and happy 4th of July. So, uh, school. 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 School.